Similarly, uh, I am, I'm, re I'm going to read out a quote by Union Minister of State for Department of Space, Jitendra Singh, who's attributed the increase in the space of space missions to the Modi government, providing more resources and an enabling policy milieu to it. Earlier, we were functioning with limited manpower, limited resource, not allowing others to participate, not allowing funds to come in. The government could not have afforded such huge funds and therefore, in a way, we were actually in incapacitating ourselves. This is what Jitendra Singh says. So, uh, would you like to throw some light on uh, the boost that the India space program has received after 2014 under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi? In terms of resource allocation, are there some startling figures that uh, you know, you'd know you like to share with the viewers, sir? Uh, I think it's, it's uh, the overall in uh, the, the uh, resource allocation in science and technology has increased many fold. Uh, hmm. whether it's a space or uh, uh, atomic or or general uh, you know uh, funding uh, to for for r and d in the country i think overall uh, if we look at the allocation is increasing year by year and uh, uh, no doubt like um, the government has to sell itself also <laughs> if i i don't want to make a political comment on any of these things yes uh, if is if you if you go by mm, the data, mm, uh, that's mm. true. I think uh, there there is no, nothing to comment on that. Uh, but look at the 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 kind of money which was given in the previous in now and the considering the inflation or or the actual right. cost of that money. In that way, yes, there is a uh, substantial increase in, in science and technology. No, I'll, I'll, yeah, tell why, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, sir. I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, actually, you know what? Um, let me just go across to, to the former ISRO chairman with us. Um, uh, Dr. Nair, uh, you know, at the same time, even as, um, and I'm n pushing neither of you to give a political statement because uh, I don't want to politicize the, uh, uh, the Chandrayaan's countdown. The idea is to understand the political leadership behind ISRO's journey as well. So when people come out all guns blazing saying that the Congress did do nothing, it was the BGP under PM Modi that's done all the work. Uh, the Congress supporters come out and say that, you know, uh, Mangalyan happened under Manmohan Singh, Chandrayaan won, the water that you found on the lunar, uh, you know, surface was happened under Manmohan Singh. So, uh, Dr. Nair, what's your take on that? Um, should we politicize ISRO's space journey as much as people actually are out there? Um, well, I think I don't want to get into a comparison, but uh, from what uh, has happened in the recent past, maybe last 20 years we take, Mm -hmm. uh, UPA1 under Manmohan Ji has done extremely well as well as support in the space program is concerned. And the uh, problem setbacks and there was a slowing down in funding as well as the space research is concerned. But it is after Modi Ji is taking over that the space program has uh, uh, sprung back to its uh, old glory and the uh, new initiatives uh, such as the manned mission and uh, the se semi cryogenic engines and the um, uh, Chandrayaan 2 and Chandrayaan 3, all mm -hmm. these have been initiated. And again, he has uh, given a direction to open up the frontiers of the research for the private players so that uh, more participation in terms of funding as well as manpower can take place. Certainly, there is a big boost to the space research in the country. And today, we are standing shoulder to shoulder with the developed countries as well as the space uh, assets are concerned. And not mm -hmm. only that, our mm -hmm. capability to uh, take the spacecraft to orbit has been exploited for national missions as well as for the international missions. The fact that we were able to compete with the international agencies and capture two major launches for the U.S. Ag uh, uh, agencies shows right. that we are uh, matured in the space business. And there's a lot of opportunities in this area. And there's a lot of um, uh, space for the private players to take on the, the technology which has been mastered by the Indian Space Research Organization. Hmm. So the government hmm. is uh, fully supporting that. And that will lead to uh, new initiatives in the future. The uh, planetary exploration is concerned. The, our mission to uh, Sun, the Aditya, is very much on the anvil, and right. the manned mission uh, is about halfway through. And all this shows that uh, we are on the right track, and uh, we hope we'll be able to be the world leaders as far as the space is concerned.